It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas on April 2nd. What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's very Christmassy looking video in the middle of April. Randy and I are about to head down again to the greater Chicagoland area to a place called bb.qchicken. Not entirely sure if you pronounce the dot or not. We'll confirm when we get there. Anyways, according to my very limited research that I did, this place is one of the biggest, largest fast food chains in all of Korea. So really honored that they invited Randy and I down to take on a brand new challenge. But anyways, this place specializes in Korean fried chicken. So this is going to be our first ever Korean fried chicken challenge. So the snow is coming down like crazy out there. It is snowing cats and dogs. So Randy and I are gonna hit the road. We will catch you guys, of course, at the Korean fried chicken restaurant when the food arrives. So the food has arrived here in front of me at bb.q chicken. I confirmed there is a dot in there, but I'm really, really excited. In front of me, I have two whole Korean fried chickens along with a side of eight of their chicken wings. And each one is in a different flavor, which I'm really excited about. I've never tried anything like any of these, except maybe this one in the middle here, which is a honey garlic, but there are 16 pieces in each whole chicken. So that is going to be absolutely wild. These are very, very heavy. Heavy. But anyways, I'm gonna have one hour to finish everything you see in front of me. If I'm successful, I do get the meal for free and I do get myself a groovy hat, which will be fantastic. One hour to finish it all. I will give you guys more details in the voiceover. I'm really excited to try these flavors. I have never ever, as far as I know, had Korean fried chicken. So this is gonna be delightful. Excited to try the number one fast food chicken chain in all of South Korea. So that'll be delightful. But anyways, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. <laughs> Oh, oh, buddy. Okay, right, I got water, that's important. Alrighty, so I'm doing all this on a brand new camera, so hope everything's working, hope the sound is okay. If not, I apologize, I'm learning. But anywho, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get this challenge started in one, two, three. It is the Double Trouble Korean Fried Chicken Challenge time. <laughs> What is up, Kilo Crew, and welcome to the table of the real KFC. Okay. Sometimes there are just no words. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tender. Yeah, tender, juicy. The batter held in all of the juicy goodness that was contained within these wings, and let me tell y'all, it was next level. Why haven't I had this before? Uh. I'll get you to one of these places. And quickly. The best way to describe these cheeseling wings is to say that they were like a powdered donut. So the cheese would like melt in your mouth, everything would just fuse together in a flavor explosion. I'm going to have very suspicious looking white powder all over my face after this. <laughs> I feel like I did a relatively decent job in keeping somewhat clean during this. I didn't look like a advertisement for a brawny paper towel or anything, or did I? <laughs> Final wing. Mm. Mm. And then it's on to one of the two chickens. It's not often people can say they've eaten a whole chicken, let alone two of them, and deep fried. <laughs> All right, last of the wings. Stack them up. <laughs> Thank goodness I got towels and not napkins. All right, let's try the galbi. Mm. Whoa, that is sweet. Mm and delicious. I think I'm eating part of the thigh. Mm. It is so difficult to describe the flavor of the Galbi wings. I would say they're really sweet and they almost taste sticky. I think umami might actually be the best word to describe these. That is scrumptious. Lots of little bones in here, so I am going a little slow to be careful. So basically, I guess they just take the whole chicken and chop it up into a bunch of different pieces, which means that there's a lot of little bones here and there to be careful for. So 10 out of 10 recommend going slow if you order you some Korean fried chicken. Ooh, that is piping hot. I'm just gonna bust that one up. Let's see if one of these uh, honey garlic ones is a little cooler. 
Wow, okay. Mm. I don't know if anything's gonna beat cheeseling, but honey garlic is up there. Oh yeah. It's very citrusy. Mmm. I really like that. <laughs> I think everyone can tell you really like that. I was uh, gnawing on this thing like it was a giant chicken lollipop. It was really yummy though. Already got the chicken sweat. <laughs> and it's early. All right, all right. That's enough there about the uh, chicken sweats. Anyways, more about this honey garlic flavor. If you have more of a reserved palette, I think this is the flavor for you. I would consider this probably like the closest to like an orange chicken sort of flavor. The little uh, bits of chicken breast are actually really juicy. Normally I'm not a big like chicken breast person because it's dry, but not when it's like this. It's covered in super healthy oil, so can't go wrong. You'll notice 10 minutes in and I haven't drank any water. That is how darn juicy these were. I have no idea what pieces of chicken I'm eating. I failed chicken anatomy in high school, but um, it's very good. Okay, so they didn't really offer chicken anatomy for uh, my high school. Maybe they do in some like small rural villages, but not where I'm at. So uh, I'm happy to be clueless about it. Ooh, then my first of the legs in the Galbi sauce. I am happy. Okay, so I can at least identify the iconic drumstick or leg of the chicken, but yeah, those are my favorite piece of the entire chicken. Usually the leg or maybe even the thigh. I do enjoy the juicier dark meat. Lots of teeny tiny bones to be careful for. If you guys are yelling at me in the comments about how slow I'm going. Safety first, everyone, safety first, but I was also secretly really just enjoying myself, kind of taking my time and hamming it up and chatting with folks in the crowd that showed up to cheer uh, Randy and I on on this day. This is about to be a joke, y'all. Kayla Cruz, she's getting cocky, mm -hmm. thinks she's better than uh -huh. me, so I brought her out one of their specialty items, mm -hmm. kimchi fried rice. That is This is gonna be her dessert when she's done. Yeah, no, there get that go, out of here, get that out of here. <laughs> this is mine. <sighs> He's so extra. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Our extraness complements each other quite nicely. <laughs> I so far have no regrets on what flavors I picked. They were all really good. I definitely intend to go back to a different BB.Q chicken. These things are popping up like daisies all over the country, so I gotta get me to another one. Down to seven pieces of chicken left out of the 40 that were there. Oh, and random apology, I am sorry for the audio blowout that's happening here. This was, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my first time with this camera. It'll be all fixed the next time. I didn't have 75 people to scream to test out the camera for me. I'm just gonna consolidate to make this look more understandable. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, love of my life. Can you reset my camera? Yeah, please. Uh, okay, it's on the top. Yep. Red button just once. There you go, perfect. Thank you. I did it. You did it. Cool. We're learning together. A little behind the scenes action for you there. There's always lots of banter and back and forth between us, but thank you guys so much for bearing with me through all the brand new camera tweaks, audio tweaks and everything. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll leave you to enjoy the rest. We'll catch you in the next one. Final piece, I'm both happy and sad. Happy because I'm at my sodium limit, that's for sure. But sad because this tastes amazing. Wow. was 29 minutes and 33 seconds. Yeah. Well, who cares? I don't remember what yours was. Spoiler alert though, no. look away if you care about Randy's records. 29, 28. Oh. Wow. Precious. Yeah. His wings were smaller. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm kidding. It doesn't actually matter. The, the what does matter is that nobody choked on a bone, which can be scary during wing challenges. But anyways, oh, I need five seconds to clean up my hands. Oh, that is delightful. Okay, so I'm finally all clean, I think. I don't know, probably not. I don't know why I'm touching my hair right now. It's probably gonna be like putting gum in my hair, but. Anywho, that was absolutely delightful. So a big thank you to the folks at bb.qchicken for having Randy and I in to uh, kick off this challenge at this location. That was absolutely wonderful. So we're here in Schaumburg, Illinois. If I didn't say that, I just said Chicagoland area, but anywho, really, really awesome. For winning in less than an hour, I do get myself a groovy hat, which I will grab presently. Oh, this thing be cute. It says BB.Q. It's trucker style. So you just put it on and look pretty cool. It's like a lot of fun. Not sure why I'm talking like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe also if you haven't already. Join the Kilo crew because we're kind of cool sometimes. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye. Yeah.